city life. For those of you who've never lived in a big city, it's hard to explain how it changes you, how it makes you harder, more abrasive, less tolerant of others. All cities do this to a person to a lesser or greater extent, but no city I've ever known has the effect of the city I describe in today's story. If you ever choose to visit Lightless City, be very sure of what you want, or you may live to regret it for the rest of your life. Sit back, relax with your favorite drink, and now it's time to listen. Do you have someone you hate? Someone you would do anything to hurt? Pay any price for vengeance? If so, you may want to consider visiting a lightless city. To get there, go to any decent sized city and find a deserted alleyway at night. Go into it and close your eyes as tightly as you can. Whisper, Lightless City, and concentrate on the darkness. You've probably noticed that there are faint colors and abstract shapes you can make out if you try to focus your eyes when they're closed. Watch those images go by. After a few minutes, the images should start to get clearer and brighter. When this happens, they'll start taking on detailed forms. Images of violent murders, deformed animals, and similar things. No matter what you see, keep your eyes closed. You'll start to lose track of time, but eventually, the images will stop, and you'll see pure darkness, nothing but deep black, no colors or shapes. When you're certain that you see pure darkness, open your eyes. You will now be in a very dark city. There won't be a single light or star in the sky. You should be able to see a faint, dark blue outline of the tall building surrounding you. Make your way out of the alley and walk as quietly as you can down the sidewalk in any direction. If you hear any movement, run as quickly as you can away from the noise. There are animals in Lightless City. It's too dark to make out the details, but they're the size of large, wild felines and will kill any human they catch. Keep moving until you reach an area with smaller buildings, the edge of the city. A child will approach you, his face dully glowing, letting you see that he is eyeless. He will ask, Will you share your light with me? Say yes. The child will reach for your face and rip out your right eye. It will be painful, but there shouldn't be any bleeding or open wound. The child will thank you and leave. Keep walking, and a tall man will appear before you. Whose light do you wish to have taken away? Speak the name of the person you hate, and as soon as you say their name, they will go completely and irreversibly blind. Is your hatred satisfied? The man will ask. If it is, say yes and you will awaken in the alley. 
If not, say no, and the man will disappear. Keep walking. You will come across another eyeless child. Will you share your light with me? Say yes, and your left eye will be torn out, leaving you blind. Keep walking, and the tall man will appear again, although you of course will have to rely on his voice. Whose life do you wish for the darkness to claim? Say the name of the one you hate, and they will die. You will not be asked if your hatred is satisfied this time, and you will not be able to return to the alley. I told you to make sure you really hated someone before doing this, as you will spend the rest of your life wandering around Lightless City, blind, with only your hatred to keep you warm. <laughs> For some people, that's enough.